Hello, I'm Entrism, and welcome back to Let's Play Niche, the furry breeding game where you have to do genetics and evolution and all that jazz. Uh, I've just downloaded up our save, and for some reason, it looks like all of our bushes have full food. This is at the end of our turn. I'm not sure whether this is, maybe they updated the game and it's caused it to change or something. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure why, but we now have a lot of food just sitting here. I mean, I guess I'm going to take advantage of it. Sweet. No! No! A lot of our, a lot of our furries are dying. Isis, that is an unfortunate name. That is definitely an unfortunate name. Hollow Basher, I really do kind of like you. Cracking three, strength four, fishing three, movement three. I mean, I'd like movement to be four, but otherwise this is a really good, good set of moves there. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the cracking jaw other than the, you know. Oh, did I just... Whoopsie, I just accidentally changed your name. Hello, Basher. Sorry! I'll stick to using the arrow keys. Hey, is this a dead crab? Awesome. Uh, I'm not really fan of the cracking drawing how it looks, because it looks really weird. But it is really useful. It is really useful. I kind of like the look of the poisonous fangs. I mean, they're venomous, obviously, because poison is ingested. Venom's injected. Um, but sure, Isis, what do you like? Uh, you've got a CB... That's a spell, eh? No paw. Ugh. Nimble fingers. Ugh. Recessive big body. Recessive short eyes. Oh. Recessive hemophilia. Yeah, you're not going to be much of use. I mean, you know, you can collect me some food or something until you die. But in general, let's just say that I'm not a massive fan of you. I mean, not in that I hate you or anything, but in that I don't want you to breathe. Yeah, okay, that sounds bad as well. Right, you are Von Mister. Welcome, Von Mister. I'm sorry, but you are uh, not long for this world. Okay, see, James, you probably need to like breed with someone. Do we breed with Elvis or something? Or no, Elvis was over here and Elvis died. This is Waxer. Waxer's. An I F E C definitely should be trying to breed you guys. Oh, that said, a short eyesight. We'll give it a try. Hollow Basher, get a move on. We're gonna have so much food. It's going to be crazy. Why am I getting Mexicans to do this? Mexicans doesn't actually pick up that much food. There we go. Right, let's look at our lovely tree and see who we want to breed. So, Hollow Basher and Von Mista are the new generation. Um, we would like to breed... I mean, we have to get a little bit more Yukazi James just for these immunities. Like, Yukazi James needs to breed a lot more. Just fact of life right there. I really wish to show you the age right here, because right now, a lot of these people are they're, they're shown as adults here, but everyone's shown as an adult there. Like, we can look at Von Mista and be like, oh my god, look at Von Mista when he's grown up. Well, she's grown up. And Holobash when he's grown up. Oh my god, that is scary. Um... Mass Effectsons is off somewhere else. That doesn't really matter. Killian Ear. Ward. B immunity is not great. Hmm. Wax is nearly of age. So Jameson Hand could breed you. Killian Hefty could breed you. Tivar. Right, so all of those would be reasonable choices. Like nothing particularly stands out as I need to oh my god, I need to breed you. So let's move Yukazi James to here, because we need to get more Yukazi James. Joe. Get you to go there. Get you to breed. Waxer. Uh... 
How much is our collection with Tiva? Collecting one. Ugh. How much is our collecting with Salmeno? One. Okay, we'll stick with the nuts. Someone is going to die next turn anyway. Yeah, I need more collecting. Like, at the moment, my collecting is really, really kind of lackluster. Ooh, what is this? This is like some prickly pear type thing. It's like a weird cacti. Shh, I'm invisible. You're almost up to breeding age. We should definitely get you to somewhere to breed. Up here, maybe? Jagnus. I, honestly, my attempt to breed in a load of different immunities has really worked. It's it's definitely paid off. I would say the only downside at the moment is that uh, we don't have very much movement or collecting. Tivva, do you want to breed you up here? Yeah, we could totally breed you up here. A lot of these just have so much food spare. Unfortunately, Pedersen Hammer isn't actually particularly fast at moving, are you? Only a three. One, two... Oh, it's because we can't see here. We can't move here. Screw it. We'll just get some more food. Stop expanding for the moment. We've got so much food going on. Like, a lot of people in the last episode, I did, like, check the comments recently, and people were like, Oh my god, why are you still breeding? You've got no food. It's like, we have got food. We just weren't gaining any food, which is fine. Like, provided we're spending as much as we're using, that's completely fine. It's it's actually interesting, because that's actually a parallel of economics. You are completely legit as a country to spend more money than you have, provided it's a reasonable time to do so, because it can get you future growth. And look, yes, a lot of governments don't do it correctly, but provided you spend to be able to get extra growth in the future, it's worth it. You just gotta make sure you've been getting that extra growth. So right, you are... Rara. 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 EB. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, no poor, god damn it. I really need to breed out that no poor. You are Bishtor. Welcome Bishtor. Von Meester. Yeah, you as well. We're going to have to just send you somewhere. You know, you can just sit here for future. I could read Waxer. Another baby out. Ward, get some food. Uh, also, thanks for the comments. I now know exactly what this melon thing does. It doesn't give you any food, which is what I suspected. I was like, that's weird. It doesn't give me any food. Did I just miss that? It uh, cures disease. So, should I need to cure disease on something important? We've got that. So there is a collecting ability here for this. Right, so that thing hurts you when you collect it. As I suspected, but I'm, I'm actually happy with that as a result. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. There we go. Got a lovely pregnancy there. Shh, I'm invisible. Um, Jagnath. I guess we'll use you to just keep pushing forwards. 92 food. And we're not even making like a, a lot of headway with this food at the moment. Joe. I really do think you're worth breeding in. You're doing a lot of good for us right now with the extra uh, collecting. Whee! 
Surrounded by crabs! Okay. Massive hexagons, breed. Let's start making some headway. We've got to find some more uh, breeding grounds for you because I kind of want to get maximum hexagons and nanon together. So you know they've just they've just done the thing, you know, getting some breeding on. Now they're gonna head out and look for a uh, suitable place to pop down their offspring. Up to 100 food now. Got to make sure we don't use UPC genes too much. Partly because the genes are terrible, and partly because, well, quite frankly, that would cause way too much of one type of immunity. Where is that sound? Oh, hello! <gasps> Ooh! Big ears! Which we can unlock by looking at savannah fields. Okay. A CB. Um, I'll be honest. Not the not the worst outcast that we could recruit. Not by any means. But I don't need you. And I actually have the CB genes in my gene pool. So I don't need them. Oh, rabbits. Rabbits! We need to unlock big ears. I would like to unlock big ears. What, are we still mutating at the moment? Hind leg, fishing tail. Meh, yeah, okay. That seems reasonable to me. Bon mister. Okay, we have a CI here. Nimble finger, claw, normal body, big nose, normal eyes. I mean, that's all good. The recessive stuff, recessive big body, good. Recessive poison fang, good. Recessive short eyesight, bad. In general, we've got pretty, got pretty lucky here. Has cracking, has fishing. Strength four, collecting two, speed one, uh, three. I, I'd prefer one more speed, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I am definitely okay with that. Like, actually, big body right now, I don't need that extra strength. Uh, heat and cold resistance don't make a difference at the moment. They actually aren't in the game. So, I prefer the normal body for the extra speed. I'm down with this. I'm down with this. I think you'll make a good female for the future generation. Dash Gamer X95. I'm just going to call you Dash Gamer X then. We haven't quite invented numbers as a species. Uh, let's move Yukazi James up to here. And I'm probably just going to say we get one more child by Yukazi James. Because I don't want to overload the gene pool a bit too much. So let's get food. Breed. Pop you there. Ah, it's a crab. Hello, crab. Ooh, found another breeding ground. Excellent. That's going to be useful. I like having two breeding grounds close together because that means you can breed, have the mother, like, plop a baby down, then move over to the next one and plop another baby down while the baby can't move. You know, just abandon your babies. It works best. Um, grab some food from there. Grab some food from there. More food from there. You can grab that nut. Uh, where else have we got? We should probably start positioning a few uh, of our species who we don't really care so much about just around here, just so that we can see through this fog of war. Because 
I call it fog war. There's no real war in this game, but it is annoying because it stops you moving through it. You need to be able to see to be able to move. So uh, I think we're good. Food's still rapidly climbing. Okay, so, new offspring, CI, we're actually getting a lot of CI, uh, recessive haemophilia, recessive panda, recessive poison thang, runner leg, and claw. I like, I actually like, you have a speed of four, a collecting of only one, attack of four, cracking of two, fishing of one, I'd throw another collecting. Maybe if I went, you know, run a leg instead of the claw or something. Ah, the claw's too strength, though. Maybe just lose the cracker jaw, then we lose any cracking. Hmm. Oh, well. Either way, you're going to be quite useful. Uh, Doranku. Welcome to our illustrious band of uh, very interesting people. Alright, get you moving along. Get you to grab that. Ward. Did we want Ward to breed? No. Well, sort of. You are a bee. If we breed with a non-bee, that's fine. You've got a movement of four, attack of three, collecting of two. You're not terrible. Just the immunity's a problem. Probably just a crab. Or it could be that, like, animal we saw last time who we didn't really care about. I think if we're going to breed UKC James, we need to breed UKC James with someone completely different. We've got a lot of CIs going on. You've got CE there. Honestly, we probably need to put... I know, it's really crazy, but we need to put BFs into the chain again. Have we got any males nearby who happen to be, like, a BF? We could get bees from Ward. Uh, Ward's female. That wouldn't work. There's an I there, Waxer. No. BG, female. Um. Yep, I have sent all the males over here. BG. How fast can you move? BF. I'm suddenly really sniffly. Ugh. Uh... Jameson, let's see if we can get you down here quick enough to... Yes, we can. So if we go here, breed... Ah, oh, we're going to be one shot. Oh, well. Doesn't matter too much. Joe. Collect me some food. Oh, that's a lot of nuts to knock down. Grab those. Waxer. Collect some food. Prickly pear. We don't need to attack it. Honestly, we've got enough food right now. Uh, that's swimming. We are... Probably Ooh, another breeding ground. Damn, we've got three up here. This is probably going to have to switch to our primary breeding ground. That is a lot of breeding ground right for us. And we have a new baby over here. Uh, a CF. Going to have a lot of Cs, actually, in the new generation. A panda. Yes. Two runner legs. Normal body. Cracker jaw. Venom fangs. Not very much attack. But five move. Two collecting. Two strength. Two crack. Two fish. I would personally want to trade a speed for a strength there, but otherwise, I am perfectly happy with that. That is a very nice set of traits you have. Sky 99. So we're just going to call you Sky. I mean, the fact you have Panda helps. And a fishing tail, like... This is really nice. I really do like that. Sky, I think you've, you've picked some really nice genes up there.
now. We should be able to get through to there to breed with that. Want you to breed. And then you to get up there. Aha! See? My cunning plan is coming together. Get another little baby there. Uh, you collect me some food, which is terrible. Move up, and let's have a little bit of a looky around. And that is probably a good place to look for today. Uh, over 100 food. I did think that the new generation was going to die. The old, sorry, the old generation was going to start dying off pretty suddenly, and that was going to mean that we needed the food bump. So I'm pretty glad we spent the uh, food, even when we were a little bit shaky on food. We were fine, just beginning to look a bit shaky. Hopefully we can get... Uh, who is it? Nanon and Master of Hexagons? Hopefully they can get it together soon enough. Hmm. Right. This is a good place to end this episode. So if you've liked, please remember like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Also do comment down below, let me know who you want me to breed in the new generation. Especially considering the new generation so far, there's no one who really stands out and is really terrible. They're all pretty... It's a tighter range, I think. Um, that said, I have to look out for the immunities. We've got a lot of the sea immunities showing up now. Just because we've been breeding out a lot with um, Yukiji James, and it just happens to be that the C's showing up a bit more than the E. Uh, so I think Yukiji James is probably not going to be breeding that much from now on. I think we've just popped out enough with you, and we need to start using a load of other people. But uh, do let me know down below your thoughts, and until next time, stay shiny.